सर कैलाश चंद्र राज शॉर्ट एंड ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन पार्ट टू रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स देर फोर सर्टेन राइट्स इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ रिलीजियस माइनॉरिटीज वर गिवन दे वर फंडामेंटल राइट्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दैम are justiciable rights here we stopped so far as the religious rights were concerned then a question arose what ought to be the attitude of not only the government but the society regarding the languages it was true that there were certain interests of the regional languages now these languages required to be developed but they were not meant for dividing one man from the other so in 1956 when the states were formed to a certain extent on the basis of language what was done was not to have a state with cent per cent people belonging to the regional language because there were bound to be people belonging to different languages that was the reason why this question was considered at great length and the states reorganization commission also went into this question of linguistic minorities it was bound to arise here and there because they were likely to feel that their rights and safeguards given to them might or might not be properly implemented so this question was considered first by the states reorganization commission and they dealt with the question whether we should have a permanent minorities commission they went into it very carefully and shrewdly they found out that it would not be proper to set up a permanent minorities commission because the result if not the actual effect would be that a permanent wedge would be driven between one community and another community so far as language minorities were concerned they had a right so far as their own languages were concerned they had also an obligation to understand the language of the majority in the particular state it is only by thus coming together that the members of the two language groups would come together and would harmoniously develop but it was found at the time when the states reorganization commission had to consider this that some machinery should be devised for safeguarding the rights of linguistic minorities only and after full consideration what was conceded was that only in respect of linguistic minorities certain rights should be extended and certain rights should be safeguarded and 
an officer should be appointed by the president for making a report on the question whether these rights of the linguistic minorities are or are not properly safeguarded stop